So I'm Marilyn. Uh, I'm a mother of two kids, uh, a son who is seven and a daughter who is two. And I live in Northern Ireland. Before I came across the Inside Out paradigm, um, I, I was thinking of myself as an empath or as somebody who had very high emotions, who was very sensitive. And that was basically ruling my everything in my life, like everything, like, you know, I, I think it would dictate what I would decide on, uh, on anything, on, on many, many decisions that I took were more about my emotions and then rational decisions. But I thought that was because um, that was my personality and I couldn't get away with it. You know, I, I couldn't do, oh, yeah. I couldn't do anything about it to, to change it. I thought people had different personalities and you had some people like me who had to be dominated by their emotions and they just had to live with it. And that was it. I also thought actually that maybe my I had a specific psychological profile that was, you know, maybe different from the rest of the population. <laughs> you know, that maybe, oh, I'm very different in the way I react to things or, you know, I think, yes. It, it, and, and it's very, also, there, there was a lot of things that I, so I looked, because there's a lot of things that feed into that on the internet as well, I think. Mm -hmm. And so obviously, you know, when you get into this mood and you're like, oh, that's me. <laughs> you read something that tells you that you, you know, your, I don't know, things like your inner child needs to do something or you know you need to heal your inner child or you yeah you you are an empath and that's why you get many people in your life who are kind of um you know taking your energy but it's normal because it's the way you are and it will always be like that and there's no other ways you know and you just have to cut relationships with these people and be alone i mean that's that's how i it felt like that there was no other ways on that you are alone or you just have to be with people the only way you know how and it's not good you know th these are yeah they, they don't work <laughs> so either be alone or be with people who are ruining your life sometimes but it's once you realize that it is you doing this i mean this is just very powerful so before well because i was uh, led by um, my emotions a lot and it was very difficult for me to think of parenting outside of my own childhood and i thought that i was a prisoner of what my mom taught me taught me directly or indirectly of course um and some of the things that I was doing, although I hated them, and that's the thing, I was in really conflicted because I knew that this is not what I wanted to do. But I couldn't, I, I couldn't do anything else. And I thought I was a prisoner of that as well. And that I couldn't do anything else. And I read many books about, you know, positive parenting and all sorts of alternative education models and all this kind of thing, which helped in some ways, uh, at least to see where, where I wanted to go. But a lot of these books don't tell you the how. So that you have a model and you're like, oh, this is, this is what I want. But you, 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 you're not shown the path at all. So I was struggling with that. Um, yes. And anytime, you know, I had the vision, I, my emotions would get in the way and then it would all be ruined and I would think, okay, I'm such a bad mother. <laughs> you know, there's no way I can ever reach what, what I want, what, the kind of mother I want to be. So since understanding the paradigm, I think they are, the main thing is um, that I've taken responsibility 